mass death, mass mortality events. I know this sounds crazy. At one point, some people are like, what's going on with Antarctica? Some of the things that um, our ancient ancestors were up to. A secret human civilization hidden beneath the ice of Antarctica has just been discovered. And that's where they say Eisenhower made a deal with these aliens. It's all mythology, it's all fake, but in reality, it's not all fake. These people left behind such detailed records and information. To me, the obvious answer is we are dealing with the fingerprints of a lost civilization that mapped the world and that left evidence of that mapping, which ancient map makers found and used and incorporated into their maps. Is it possible that an advanced society has been living right under our noses, deep within the Earth's crust? You can really go down a deep rabbit hole if you read about ice ages. I think the best evidence for it is ancient maps, uh, which show the world as it looked during the last ice age. Join us as we unpack this astonishing claim. Explore the evidence. And they were in every sense human because you can't interbreed with another species. They, they clearly were uh, hum human beings, but they looked rather different. And there was a tendency to think, well, you have this evidence of cultural habitation of this area for centuries or millennium, and then suddenly you don't. Today we have an extraordinary and riveting topic to dive into. One that bridges the realms of science fiction and groundbreaking discovery. It's a tale of ancient mysteries, hidden civilizations, and secrets buried deep beneath the ice. We're about to explore a stunning revelation that has surfaced. A secret human civilization from inner Earth has just been discovered in Antarctica. This is a story that has captivated the imaginations of conspiracy theorists, explorers, and historians alike. So, buckle up and prepare for a journey into the heart of one of the world's most enigmatic and unexplored frontiers. Chapter 1. The Discovery That Shook the World Our story begins with an extraordinary claim that has recently taken the world by storm. A secret civilization hidden deep within the icy expanse of Antarctica, has been uncovered. This revelation has been making waves across various platforms, drawing the attention of historians, scientists, and curious minds alike. The discovery was made by a team of international researchers who were conducting routine geological surveys in the Antarctic region. What started as a standard expedition soon turned into a life-changing event when they stumbled upon evidence of what appeared to be an ancient, technologically advanced civilization buried beneath miles of ice and snow. The initial findings were nothing short of sensational. Advanced structures, mysterious artifacts, and inexplicable technology were found in a region previously considered uninhabitable. This has led to a whirlwind of theories and speculations about the origins and implications of this hidden civilization. Chapter 2. The History of Antarctica Exploration To appreciate the significance of this discovery, it's crucial to understand the history of Antarctic exploration. Since the early 19th century, explorers have ventured into this frozen continent, driven by curiosity and the quest for scientific knowledge. Antarctica's exploration began in earnest with expeditions led by figures like Ernest Shackleton and Robert Falcon Scott. These early explorers braved harsh conditions and treacherous terrain in their quest to map the continent and uncover its secrets. Despite their efforts, much of Antarctica remained unexplored and shrouded in mystery. In the latter half of the 20th century, technological advancements allowed for more detailed exploration of Antarctica. Satellites and aerial surveys provided new insights into the continent's geography and geology, but still, many areas remained off-limits due to the extreme conditions. The discovery of this hidden civilization adds a new and unexpected chapter to the story of Antarctic exploration. It suggests that beneath the ice, there are secrets that defy conventional understanding and challenge our perceptions of human history. Chapter 3 the discovery unveiled. The revelation of the secret civilization began with an unexpected signal picked up by a team of geologists using ground-penetrating radar. The radar detected anomalies deep beneath the ice, suggesting the presence of large structures and potential artifacts. Intrigued by these findings, the team launched a more extensive investigation. What they uncovered was nothing short of astonishing. 
The initial scans revealed a complex network of structures, including buildings, roads, and other infrastructure that appeared to belong to a highly advanced civilization. The scale and sophistication of these structures suggested that they were not the work of primitive societies, but rather a technologically advanced culture. Among the artifacts found were intricately designed tools and objects that defied conventional technological timelines. These discoveries raised numerous questions about the origins and capabilities of the civilization that had once thrived beneath the ice. Chapter 4. Theories and Speculations With such a groundbreaking discovery, it's no surprise that various theories and speculations have emerged regarding the origins and nature of this hidden civilization. Let's explore some of the most intriguing theories that have been proposed. 1. Ancient Advanced Civilization One theory posits that the hidden civilization was an ancient advanced society that predates known human history. According to this theory, the civilization could have been highly developed and capable of creating sophisticated technology long before other cultures emerged. The discovery of advanced artifacts and structures could suggest that this civilization possessed knowledge and capabilities that were far ahead of its time. 2. Extraterrestrial Influence Another theory suggests that the hidden civilization may have had extraterrestrial origins or influences. Some proponents of this theory believe that the advanced technology and artifacts found in Antarctica could be evidence of contact with extraterrestrial beings. This theory is bolstered by the appearance of objects and structures that defy conventional explanations and suggest otherworldly origins. 3. Lost Civilization of Atlantis The legend of Atlantis has long fascinated historians and researchers. According to some interpretations of Plato's writings, Atlantis was a powerful and technologically advanced civilization that existed thousands of years ago. Some theorists propose that the hidden civilization in Antarctica could be a remnant of this lost world, preserved beneath the ice for millennia. 4. Post-Diluvian Refuge Another intriguing theory is that the civilization in Antarctica could have been a refuge for survivors of a global cataclysm, such as a massive flood or natural disaster. According to this theory, the civilization could have relocated to Antarctica to escape the devastation and continue to thrive in isolation. The discovery of their remnants could provide insights into their efforts to preserve their culture and knowledge. Chapter 5 the significance of the discovery. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond the realm of academic curiosity. The hidden civilization in Antarctica has the potential to reshape our understanding of human history, technology, and our place in the world. 1. Rewriting Human History The discovery challenges existing historical timelines and narratives. If the hidden civilization predates known ancient cultures, it could necessitate a re-evaluation of human history and the development of technology. This could lead to new insights into the origins of human civilization and the evolution of technological advancements. 2. Technological Implications The advanced technology found within the hidden civilization could have profound implications for modern science and engineering. The study of these technologies could provide new insights into fields such as energy production, materials science, and engineering. This could lead to breakthroughs that impact various industries and improve our understanding of technological possibilities. 3. Environmental and Ethical Considerations The discovery also raises important environmental and ethical considerations. As researchers continue to explore and study the hidden civilization, there will be a need to balance scientific curiosity with the preservation of the site. Ethical considerations regarding the treatment of artifacts and the impact on the environment will be crucial in ensuring that the exploration is conducted responsibly. 4. The Search for Life Beyond Earth The discovery has reignited interest in the search for life beyond Earth. The possibility of finding advanced civilizations or artifacts in unexpected places challenges our assumptions about the distribution of life and technology in the universe. This could lead to new approaches in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and the exploration of other planets and moons. 
Chapter 6 The Future of Exploration and Research As the world grapples with the implications of this groundbreaking discovery, the future of exploration and research in Antarctica will be shaped by a combination of scientific curiosity and ethical responsibility. 1. Continued Exploration The hidden civilization in Antarctica has opened up new avenues for exploration and research. Future expeditions will seek to uncover more details about the civilization, its technology, and its history. This will involve advanced techniques such as deeper ice core drilling, 3D mapping, and further analysis of artifacts. 2. International Collaboration Given the significance of the discovery, international collaboration will play a crucial role in the exploration and study of the hidden civilization. Scientists, historians, and researchers from around the world will work together to share knowledge, resources, and expertise. This collaborative approach will help ensure that the exploration is conducted in a thorough and responsible manner. 3. Preservation and Protection The preservation and protection of the site will be a top priority. Efforts will be made to safeguard the artifacts and structures from damage or degradation. This may involve the development of specialized techniques for the conservation of ancient materials and the implementation of measures to prevent contamination. 4. Public Engagement and Education The discovery has captured the public's imagination and generated widespread interest. Engaging with the public and educating them about the significance of the discovery will be important for fostering a deeper understanding of the findings. Educational programs, public lectures, and media coverage will help to share the excitement and knowledge with a broader audience. 5. Ethical Considerations Ethical considerations will continue to guide the exploration and study of the hidden civilization. Researchers will need to address questions related to the treatment of artifacts, the impact on indigenous cultures, and the responsible use of technology. Ensuring that the exploration is conducted with respect and integrity will be essential for maintaining the trust and support of the global community. Chapter 7 The Role of Technology in the Discovery The discovery of the hidden civilization in Antarctica would not have been possible without advancements in technology. Various technologies played a crucial role in uncovering and studying the site. 1. Ground Penetrating Radar Ground Penetrating Radar GPR, was instrumental in detecting the anomalies beneath the ice. GPR uses electromagnetic waves to penetrate the ground and provide images of subsurface structures. The radar data revealed the presence of large, complex structures buried deep beneath the ice. 2. Satellite Imaging Satellite imaging provided valuable information about the surface and subsurface features of Antarctica. High-resolution images from satellites helped identify potential areas of interest and guide the selection of exploration sites. Satellite data also contributed to the mapping of the discovered structures. 3. 3D Mapping and Imaging 3D mapping and imaging technologies were used to create detailed representations of the discovered structures. These technologies allowed researchers to visualize the layout and scale of the site, as well as analyze the intricate details of the artifacts and architecture. 4. Analysis and Dating Techniques Various analysis and dating techniques were employed to study the artifacts and materials found at the site. Radiocarbon dating, thermoluminescence dating, and other methods help determine the age of the artifacts and provide insights into the timeline of the civilization. 5. Robotics and Remote Sensing Robotic technology and remote sensing tools were used to explore and document the site in challenging conditions. Robots equipped with cameras and sensors were able to access areas that were difficult or dangerous for human researchers. Remote sensing tools provided additional data on the environmental conditions and geological features. Chapter 8. The Impact on Popular Culture and Media the discovery of a secret civilization in Antarctica has captured the imagination of people around the world and has been a major topic in popular culture and media. 1. Media Coverage Media outlets have extensively covered the discovery with news reports, documentaries, 
and feature articles highlighting the significance of the findings. The discovery has become a focal point for discussions on ancient history, technology, and the mysteries of Antarctica. 2. Conspiracy Theories and Speculation As with any groundbreaking discovery, the revelation of a hidden civilization has led to a proliferation of conspiracy theories and speculative narratives. Some theories suggest secret government agendas, hidden agendas, or alternative explanations for the findings. It's important to approach these theories with a critical mindset and rely on credible sources of information. 3. Influence on Fiction and Entertainment The discovery has inspired a wave of fictional works, including novels, films, and television series that explore the themes of hidden civilizations and ancient mysteries. These works often draw on elements of the discovery to create compelling and imaginative stories. 4. Public Fascination and Curiosity The discovery has sparked widespread public fascination and curiosity. People are eager to learn more about the hidden civilization and its implications. Public lectures, exhibitions, and interactive experiences related to the discovery have been well received and have contributed to a greater understanding of the findings. Chapter 9. The Long-Term Implications and Future Research The discovery of a hidden civilization in Antarctica represents a profound moment in human history and opens up new possibilities for future research and exploration. 1. Re-evaluation of historical timelines The findings may prompt a re-evaluation of historical timelines and the understanding of ancient civilizations. Researchers will need to integrate new information into existing historical frameworks and consider the implications for our knowledge of human development. 2. Advances in Science and Technology The study of the hidden civilization's technology may lead to advancements in various scientific fields. Insights gained from the artifacts and structures could drive innovation in engineering, materials science, and energy production. 3. Exploration of Other Unexplored Regions The discovery in Antarctica may inspire further exploration of other unexplored or underexplored regions of the world. Scientists and researchers will be motivated to investigate other remote and challenging locations for potential discoveries. 4. Preservation and Conservation Efforts Ongoing efforts to preserve and conserve the site will be essential for protecting the integrity of the discovery. Researchers and conservationists will work to ensure that the site remains intact and that future generations can benefit from the knowledge gained. 5. Continued Public Engagement Maintaining public engagement and interest in the discovery will be important for fostering a sense of shared excitement and curiosity. Educational initiatives, public outreach, and ongoing media coverage will help keep the public informed and involved in the exploration process. The period between World War I and World War II marked the beginning of the computer age. There was rapid advancement in aerial technology and motor transports were adopted for polar exploration. During and shortly after the end of World War II, there was a surge in reports of unidentified flying objects spotted at several locations. In the same period, Admiral Richard Byrd went on an expedition to Antarctica. Admiral Richard Evelyn Byrd was among the first pilots to fly over the North and South Poles. He also organized Operation High Jump, the largest convoy to ever go on an expedition to Antarctica. Thirteen ships, 23 aircraft, and over 4,700 military personnel made up the entourage. Admiral Byrd was responsible for several discoveries, one of which included Mount Sibley, the largest dormant volcano in Antarctica. The Admiral has been recognized for all his discoveries, except the one we will discuss in this video. Here is a little backstory. In 1946, the U.S. government asked Admiral Richard Byrd to go on an expedition to Antarctica. Dubbed Operation High Jump, the expedition was slated to last four months. The mission was a huge success, as the crew navigated nearly one-fourth of the Antarctic coast, which before that time had been largely unexplored. The expedition opened up the continent's interior for scientific exploration. The trip was mostly uneventful until the crew stumbled across something amazing in the third month. Underneath all the ice was a city made of crystal. This discovery was kept from the public till the day the Admiral died. 
It was only unearthed when his son discovered his diary after his death in 1957. In his diary, Richard Byrd narrated how the discovery came about. He had been flying over the South Pole when he discovered a structure that looked like it belonged underwater. Ever the explorer, he decided to check out this mysterious architecture. Richard slowly navigated the area with his aircraft and was amazed to find lush greenery. The greenery led to a city that looked like nothing he had seen before. It looked like the city was made of crystals, and perhaps it was. In his diary, Bird recounted that he suddenly realized his aircraft was no longer in his control. Then, flying disks appeared from nowhere and hovered in the air. These flying disks led him to a place where he met a strange being, whom he referred to as the Master in his diary. The being disclosed that it was disappointed in all of humanity. It went on to explain that it was worried that human activities would end up destroying the Earth, which had become its home too. He said that they had always been concerned about how humans have been treating the Earth over the millennia, and are even more worried in these modern times. One can only wonder if the strange being and its kind were the reason for the increased UFO sightings close to nuclear missile silos between World War I and World War II. However, experts have refused to believe Byrd's story. Still on UFO sightings, it is pretty common knowledge that the Soviet Union disintegrated the Russian Navy and declassified its records of these sightings that occurred during the Cold War. Russia's reports suggest that about 50 of the UFO sightings were connected to oceans, while another 15 happened near lakes. The reports also showed that UFOs tended to stick to water. This affinity to water is understandable because water is the bedrock of evolution. On several occasions, the radars on some Russian submarines have shown objects that move at incredibly rapid speeds. Some calculations even showed speeds of about 230 knots or 400 kilometers per hour. No man-made craft is capable of going at such high, physics-defying speeds. The Russian Navy personnel who came across these sites were left scratching their heads in amazement. They knew it wasn't the United States or any other country trying to spy on their waters. According to a Russian Navy intelligence veteran, ocean UFOs often show up wherever NATO fleets are concentrated near the Bahamas, Bermudez, and Puerto Rico. These unidentified flying objects are still most often seen in the deepest parts of the Atlantic Ocean, in the southern part of the Bermuda Triangle and the Caribbean Sea. Another place where UFO sightings are almost a norm is Russia's Lake Baikal, the deepest freshwater body in the world. Fishermen who fish in the Baikal Lake often tell tales of powerful lights coming from the lake's depths and strange objects flying out of the water. In one case, in 1982, military divers training at the Baikal Lake spotted a group of humanoid creatures dressed in silvery suits. The encounter happened at a depth of 50 meters. It is reported that the divers tried to catch the strange creatures, but it was a fatal error. Three of the seven divers were killed, while the rest were severely injured. We also know all about the mysterious events that take place in the Bermuda Triangle region. For some time, the Bermuda Triangle was fraught with mysterious occurrences, from reports of divers going missing to the disappearance of whole ships or aircraft. Subsequently, this region became one of the most feared areas on Earth. These strange occurrences, as well as all other weird activities around that region, suddenly came to a grinding halt. However, mysterious holes have recently been spotted on the ocean floor near the mainland in Portugal. The discovery of these holes has baffled expert oceanographers. These holes were found on July 23, 2022, and ocean experts are at a loss. They can't explain what could have possibly made them, even though the holes look like they were excavated by something. On the other hand, UFO experts are certain that these markings and holes on our ocean floor are proof of alien visits to our planet. If visiting extraterrestrials caused this, one can only wonder what they hope to achieve by poking holes in the ocean floor. Our best answer to why aliens would prefer to stay underwater during their earthly excursions is that they use the ocean to stay out of the way of humans. They may be doing this as a way to explore the Earth on their terms. There is no other reasonable explanation, at least not with how the holes appear. Upon closer inspection, explorers found that the holes appeared closely aligned 
and had a regularly repeating pattern. They also had tiny piles of sediment around them. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Explorer vessel crew discovered the holes while investigating the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a mostly unexplored region of the seafloor, part of the world's largest mountain range. The markings on the seafloor anomaly are not the first of its kind. Mysterious indentations on the seafloor, and even on land, have been found in various areas on the Earth. Marine scientists from the United States National Marine and Fisheries Service also spotted odd hollows on the ocean floor during a routine dive in 2004. The NOAA researchers would later inform them that the weird hollows had been previously reported in the region, but the origin of the holes on the ocean floor remains a mystery. While these holes certainly look man-made, the little piles of sediment placed neatly around the holes suggest that the holes were purposely dug out by someone or something. There have even been claims about a massive ancient civilization beneath the Antarctic ice. This might give some credence to the holes being dug by aliens and what Bird saw on his Antarctic expedition. Who knows, they might even be the same civilization. On the surface, Antarctica is a huge block of floating ice, inhabited only by scientific researchers, penguins, and some of the world's last few polar bears. Rumors of a city hidden beneath ice and snow have been floating around for a few years. Many conspiracy theorists and even some scientists believe that the icy desert is the home of the mythical city of Atlantis. One scientific theory claims that once upon a time, Antarctica was ice-free and home to an ancient civilization. The theory, called crustal displacement, alleges that movements in the Earth's crust meant that large parts of Antarctica were ice-free 12,000 years ago, and people could have lived there. A society could have existed in prehistory, ending with the last ice age, which froze the continent. And this society could have been Atlantis, a mythical city founded by people who were half god and half human, first mentioned by the Greek philosopher Plato in 360 BC. Speculation over the location of the legendary long-lost city is rife, with others believing it to have been near the Greek island of Santorini. Antarctica's crystal city was apparently confirmed by an ancient map called the Piri Race Map, compiled in 1513 from military intelligence. The map shows the Antarctic coast hundreds of years before it was discovered, but many scholars denounced it at the time. However, earlier this year, Photos from NASA appeared to reveal traces of a human settlement underneath the ice. The pictures, taken using remote sensing photography for NASA's Operation Icebridge mission to Antarctica, show what online detectives believe could be a city. Google Earth images also appear to show a pyramid poking out of the tundra, with enthusiasts claiming that it is proof humanity once lived in the area and built a structure. Speaking of cities that don't belong, did you know that Earth was involved in an accident that altered its core makeup billions of years ago? A primordial planet, Theia, crashed into our solar system, and some of its remnants may have merged with our planet's core. Two gigantic blobs of dense rocky material lurk in the lower depths of the Earth's mantle beneath West Africa and the Pacific Ocean. Measuring thousands of miles wide, these rocky blobs have been one of the planet's best-kept secrets and have baffled scientists for decades. The unevenness in the Earth's mantle caused by the blob's rocky layers is seen as proof that the core of another planet merged with Earth's core. This isn't the first time scientists have speculated that the underground blobs were remnant shards of Theia, but Qian Yuan, an Arizona State University graduate student who presented the idea at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference, seems to have made the most compelling case yet. Seismologists have been studying these two blobs for decades. They have found that seismic waves from earthquakes abruptly slow down when they pass through the rocky layers, which suggests they are denser and chemically different from the surrounding mantle rock. Seismologists call them large, low shear velocity provinces, or LLSVPs. Together, they contain about six times the mass of the moon. Researchers are fairly certain that we gained our favorite satellite, the Moon, after Theia collided with the Proto-Earth some 4.5 billion years ago. But what is not certain are the details surrounding Theia's fate after the collision. Was it a hit-and-run, 
or did the mantles of the two planets merge? Qian Yuan and his colleagues recently suggested a new line of evidence to support the latter hypothesis. They proposed that Theia not only merged with Earth, but we might know right where the remnants of its mantle reside on Earth. Honestly, not much is known about Theia. It is almost like it was a freak accident the cosmos want to forget about. Much of the work around the giant impact hypothesis involves comparing isotopes found on the Moon with those found on Earth. The similarities in their composition suggest that the Moon is made of a hunk of ancient Earth, meaning something like a giant impact knocked it off our pale blue dot. Original models estimated that the impactor, Theia, was about the size of Mars, half the size of Earth today. Some recent studies suggest it might have been more like four times the size of Mars or roughly the size of the proto-Earth. Either way, most researchers agree that the core, the densest part of Theia, merged with the core of Earth incredibly quickly after the impact, possibly in a matter of hours. Today, Earth's mantle isn't completely uniform. About 8% of it is slightly different from the rest, and this different portion forms two big piles near the core mantle boundary. These two piles are called Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces, LSVPs, so named because seismic waves, or shear waves, move about 1 or 2% slower when passing through them. And they are huge. One is beneath the African continent, and the other under the Pacific Ocean. Some researchers think the LLSVPs slow down the shear waves because they are at a higher temperature than the rest of the mantle. Others, like Yuan and his colleagues, think they're denser and compositionally different, in addition to being hotter. Yuan says he was sitting in a planetary geochemistry class when the idea struck that the LLSVPs might be related to Theia. He was in ASU professor Micha Zolotov's class, learning about the giant impact hypothesis for the Moon's formation. Zolotov mentioned that the weakest part of the theory was the hypothetical planet Theia. No one had ever found any direct evidence to support its existence. It is gone. There is no evidence of it in meteorites, the asteroid belt, or anywhere. UN's first move was to do some simple calculations, comparing the size of the two LLSVPs to the size of Mars's mantle, to find a rough estimate for Theia's mantle. He calculated that the two LLSVPs were 80 or 90% of the size of the Mars mantle. When he added the Moon, Yuan found that it was almost a perfect match. It seems the theory that Theia crashed into the Earth, created the Moon, and made up a large chunk of Mars itself is not total hogwash. Yuan pulled up a 2012 Nature paper by geochemist Sujoy Mukhopadhyay at the University of California which examined noble gas isotopes from volcanic basalts in Iceland. Mukhopadhyay has shown that Earth's mantle is heterogeneous with at least two separate sources, and those sources are at least 4.5 billion years old. That is, the Earth's sources are older than the Moon. That was consistent with their hypothesis. One of the sources could be Theia's mantle, preserved in Earth's mantle after the impact. Next. Yuan turned to ASU astrophysicist Stephen Desch, who in 2019 had published new estimates for the composition of Theia itself. Desch, along with Catherine Robinson at the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston, used the composition of lunar samples from the Apollo missions to model a likely Theia. They concluded that it was much bigger than expected, about the size of one proto-Earth or four Mars planets. Even more important for Yuan, Desch and Robinson estimated that Theia's mantle had a higher abundance of iron oxide than Earth's. This means it was denser, so Theia's mantle would sink when the two planets collided. Yuan and Desch joined forces to determine what Theia's mantle composition would look like to resemble today's LLSVPs after 4.5 billion years of mantle convection. They found that if Theia was denser than Desch's earlier estimate, its mantle would have sunk too much forming a global layer instead of two piles. Instead, their calculations revealed that the estimates for Theia's size and density were just right. Susanna Dorfman, a geoscientist at Michigan State University, commented that the creativity of Yuan and Desch's study made it stand out. Susanna was not involved in the study, but she was quite impressed with the approach and the results. As she explained, what intrigued her the most was how the study connected two fields that looked at problems differently. 
Dorfman explained that the simulations that Yuan and Desh ran were solid. The only place the idea could fall apart would be if the assumptions they made turned out to be incorrect, like the specific iron oxide composition of Theia and how its density compares to Earth's. Dorfman maintained that getting an inevitable result from a certain set of starting conditions would definitely bring on a feeling of great accomplishment. Yuan is the first to emphasize that there's still a lot of uncertainty around the idea of Theia's remnants merging with Earth's mantle. He has taken his time to ensure the world understands that it is no more than a hypothesis and that it is being proposed for the first time. The study is still very new. Yuan also expressed hope that more researchers would be willing to test their hypothesis to collect more evidence to prove or disprove it. He says an obvious next step is to compare the compositions of noble gas isotopes in lunar samples with that from LLSVPs. Yuan also believes that there's no reason why the composition of the lunar samples would have a chemical relationship unless they inherited it from their ancestor, Theia. From polar discoveries that could mean we are sharing our beloved planet with an alien race or races to the possibility of a part of Earth's core and the moon resulting from a celestial accident, we have learned a lot in this video.